The Department of Public Health Engineering of Bangladesh is pleased to introduce an integrated waste management model. This comprehensive model synergizes fecal sludge management and solid waste management to create a sustainable waste management ecosystem. Fecal sludge is systematically collected from a variety of sources. By using mechanical vacuum tankers for collection and transportation, the sludge is then directed to planted drying beds. These planted drying beds are engineered with porous media, such as sand and gravel, and are further enhanced with emergent macrophytes to facilitate the drying process. The liquid effluent percolated from the planted drying beds undergoes a two-stage treatment. Initially, it is processed in an integrated settler and anaerobic filter, where settleable solids are removed via sedimentation. Subsequently, the wastewater flows through the anaerobic filter, where anaerobic degradation of suspended and dissolved solids occurs. The treated wastewater is then channeled through a constructed wetland for further aerobic degradation of pollutants, primarily nutrients like nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. The final stage involves a polishing pond, where pathogens are eradicated, rendering the wastewater compliant with effluent discharge standards. Simultaneously, solid waste collected from various sectors, such as residential areas, slums, hostels, markets, and institutions, is transported to the plant's waste separation area. Here, waste is categorized into combustible and non-combustible materials. The dry sludge and non-combustible waste are blended together in a designated mixing zone. This mixture is then transferred to a composting bed. The mix in the composting bed is turned periodically to release ammonia gas and reactivate beneficial bacteria. Constant temperature is monitored and once it reaches the optimal temperature, it is transferred to the maturation zone for further processing. It's then screened to remove any remaining unwanted materials. Finally, the compost is sent to a post-maturation zone, where it undergoes a controlled thermal process. This step is vital for ensuring that the compost is completely free of pathogens, making it safe and beneficial for various applications. For combustible waste, a state-of-the-art plasma gasification unit is employed. Utilizing a controlled gasification process, this unit converts combustible waste into gaseous constituents and an environmentally compliant incombustible residue. The generated gases undergo a series of cleaning processes, including cooling, scrubbing, and cyclone separation, to produce clean gas that meets atmospheric release standards. Remarkably, only 4% of the treated waste results in ash, which is non-hazardous and can be repurposed as a soil conditioner. The integrated waste management model stands as a testament to our commitment to sustainable development and environmental stewardship, making a better world for everyone.